flashbacks to a repressive communist government. That's what some Vietnamese parishioners thought. They were caught in in the Elmwood Place speed trap. Nine on your side reporter Jay Warren is live at the Hamilton County Courthouse with new information on legal action against the village and the story of a flock in hear. fear. Jay, can you hear us? Well, we've heard about those speed traps in Elmwood Place, but one group that we haven't heard about is the parishioners, members of a Vietnamese Catholic community who actually were afraid of those cameras. On a Thursday afternoon, the pews were empty inside Our Lady of Lavong. But for Reverend Chow Pham, there were still empty pews even on Sunday for Mass. We sat down with him to talk about the speed trap that kept members of his congregation in fear. In Vietnam, we lived in a, in a country controlled by communists. So we were so afraid of uh, secret police in that way. Some parishioners here drive 30 minutes or more to attend mass in Vietnamese, and the cameras issued hundreds of tickets to what he describes as a hard-working flock. They said that uh, I may not come to the church because we, uh, we just came here for a while and we have to work hard. And then suddenly we went to this place to worship uh, and we got a ticket. He wasn't afraid about the ticket he received, but business owner Terry Howe certainly believed the cameras violated his rights. I felt pretty violated and I felt that, you know, this is just un-American, not right, uh, against everything we believe in, et cetera, and, and felt that, you know, I didn't even recall the day it even happened until I got in and started researching and thinking where I was. How got his ticket after the judge ordered the village to stop, which is why Elmwood now faces a contempt of court motion, too. In the meantime, now that the cameras are no longer issuing tickets, Pham's congregation is growing again. They feel happy and come back. I hope that uh, they'll come back more and more. <laughs> Our attempts today to reach Elmwood Place for comment were unsuccessful. We expect to hear about the contempt of court motion and whether the judge grants class action status in the coming weeks. Jay Warren, nine on your side downtown. Thank you, Jay.